June is the month of roses and in order for your roses to bloom during this period, you need to take care of their protection from pests such as aphids. How to get rid of aphids, these tiny creatures that love to suck the juice from the buds and leaves of our roses. Before discussing how to deal with the pest, let's see who we are dealing with. From April to May, aphids reproduce especially quickly due to dry and hot weather conditions. Deformed, discolored, sticky and glossy leaves are typical damage caused by aphids. Aphids insert their proboscis into plants to get to the juice. Nectar is released, which provokes the invasion of a fungus that forms black spots and other insects. Plier is a very small pear-shaped creature that appears in large numbers on the tips of pink stems in May or early June. Most of them are light green at this time, so they are almost invisible on the stems. The pest can multiply rapidly, suddenly appearing out of nowhere, as if a huge army had invaded your garden overnight. Aphids are very smart. By grabbing plants, it forces the leaves to curl inward to protect itself from spraying. If you don't fight it, it attacks tender young shoots, emerging leaves, and even rose twigs. The pest loves juicy young shoots very much, so we protect this year's shoots first of all. The shoots covered with aphids look very weak, dry, the leaves are covered with rust. Ants love the dark sticky substance that aphids secrete, so ants will diligently bring insects to your rose bushes and graze them there. If you notice ants running up and down the stems of roses, check for aphids and get rid of both before your flower beds turn into pasture. If the infection is small, you can coward the larvae on your hand, on the ground to yourself. Do not neglect the simplest way the use of water pressure. Direct the jet to the places of accumulation, just wash them off to the ground. This treatment is usually carried out two or three times a month until the insects disappear completely. A popular folk remedy is household soap or any soap solution. The soap itself does not have any disinfecting properties. The mechanism of action is such a soap agent, as an alkaline solution penetrates deep into any surface and penetrating, an alkaline sticky soap molecule envelops any small particles, as if separating them from the surface. The adhesion of particles to the surface decreases and water easily washes everything away. How does it work with lay? Soap washes off the wax film from the insect, it gets sharply dehydrated and dies. The soap solution is very easy to prepare. Household or tar soap of 200 grams is rubbed on a grater and stirred in a bucket of warm water for 10 liters. Instead of soap, you can take 5 tablespoons of washing powder or dishwashing detergent. Spray the stems, buds and leaves of the rose with the finished solution. You can repeat the treatment every week until the complete disappearance of pests. Also an excellent folk remedy for aphids on roses is ash. If you want to pamper roses, be sure to choose ash. The alkaline ash solution is rich in delicious trace elements and your rose bush will definitely get prettier. To do this, mix 250-350 grams of wood ash with a bucket of water, insist for 15 hours and add 1 tablespoon of soap detergent before use. You can also take soda to fight. It should be food, not soda ash, which can harm tender shoots. It is very important to alternate these means with each other, as the pest adapts to your sprays, so they need to be changed. You can plant fragrant spicy herbs and flowers that the pest does not like on the plot next to the roses. The plant that repels aphids is mint, lavender, sage, thyme, dill, parsley, fennel, marigolds, and daisies. Also clover, lupin, or rapeseed. 
Unlike ants, which spread the larvae of the pest throughout the garden, ladybugs help to fight it. One such insect can destroy about 700 aphids in natural conditions. We attract ladybugs to the site with tansy, dill and chamomile, and if you have dandelions on the site, they will attract golden-eyed wasps, ground beetles, riders, eating pests and its larvae. We also install poultry houses for sparrows, tits and kinglets. Birds feed on these larvae and also feed their chicks with them. A very effective remedy against aphids is a Coca-Cola drink. Give the aphids Coca-Cola to death, friends. To do this, pour Coca-Cola into a bottle, wind up a spray gun and spray on harmful aphids on roses, flowers, berries and shrubs. What I want to say is that the death of the pest is inevitable. It is not necessary to dilute Coca-Cola with water. We spray it in the form that we have and spray it once every two weeks. After such Coca-Cola procedures, there are much fewer aphids and ants in the garden. We, friends, still decided to treat our rose bushes with an intoxicant actor in this case. What do you use folk remedies for aphids? Right, friends, in the comments, do you think that all purchased drugs are more harmful? Even the best folk remedies can lead to dehydration of the surface of the rose leaves. They wash off the moisture-retaining wax coating from it as well as from aphids and can harm useful garden inhabitants, for example, bees. Therefore, treat only those areas where there are aphids and sometimes it is more effective to simply wash off the larvae with a sponge and soap. Do not also assume that the use of intoxicants will not affect the roses themselves in any way. Unfortunately, their flowers after processing will become unsuitable for use for medical and cosmetic purposes, and in rare cases, the smell of the buds themselves may change. In addition, it breeds new offspring every two weeks, which means it quickly adapts to the active substances used against it. Therefore, alternate medications. Remember, it is not the names of the products that should differ, but their active substances. Do not skip intermediate treatments with infusions and decoctions based on natural ingredients. Shoot down aphids by mechanical means and lead the offensive on all fronts. Now that you know, friends, what to spray roses from aphids, your garden will become more protected and will delight you with delicate aromas and bright colors. A healthy rosary. Have a nice bright pink summer. Let your roses bloom and delight you in your gardens.